Hello, you're watching the Star News Update. I'm Esther Chandran. Perak State Agriculture Committee Chairman Jamaluddin Mohamad Razi and State Tourism Committee Chairman Mohamad Osman Mohamad Jailu, together with three others, have been charged in Ipoh Sessions Court. They have been charged with receiving bribes to develop a piece of land worth 180 million ringgit. The five, the five face a total of 16 charges of bribery. Sessions Court Judge Tan Hui Ling has set September 15 to decide whether the court has jurisdiction to hear five of the charges which allegedly took place in Penang. Meanwhile, Osman and Jamaluddin filed a 100 million ringgit suit against the anti-corruption agency for defamatory statements involving bribes and sexual favours. Youth and Sports Minister Dato Ismail Sabri Yaakob says the ministry will give national badminton coach Ms. Punside 60,000 ringgit as a reward for helping the country win a silver medal in the Beijing Olympics. He says the sum is 20% of the 300,000 ringgit that single shuttler Lee Chong Wei will receive from the ministry. Ismail says Ms. Boon deserves recognition as he has contributed to the badminton field for a long time. Ms. Boon was the runner-up for the All England Cup and was also the coach for the Malaysian team who won the Thomas Cup in 1996. Ismail also welcomes the Melaka State Government's decision to honour Ms. Boon with the Daja Mulia Sri Melaka State Award, which carries the title Dato. Deputy Prime Minister Dato Sri Najib Tun Razak says negotiations are ongoing to secure the release of the crew of MV Bunga Melati that was hijacked last Tuesday. He has not disclosed the parties involved in the negotiations. Uh, our hostages are safe. But negotiations are going on to, to secure their release. The MISC-owned tanker was carrying palm oil when pirates hijacked it off the coast of Somalia with 29 Malaysians and 10 Filipinos aboard. Najib was speaking to reporters after closing a seminar on the latest technology of scanning machines in Putrajaya. Higher Education Minister Dato Sri Mohammad Khalid Nordin says the ministry will deregister 23 dormant private higher education institutions and is investigating 40 others. He says this is part of the ministry's aim to rationalise the private higher education sector. He says although there is enough of such institutions, the quality of some are not up to the mark and the ministry will work on improving their standards. Khalid says the government will not put a freeze on the establishments of new private universities and university colleges. He said this after attending a dialogue with Bumiputra-owned private colleges Monday. For more updates, log on to the staronline.tv. I'm Esther Chandran. Thanks for watching.